So recently an AI tool came out called ChatGPT that's like Google and Smarter Child on steroids. And it's quite possibly the biggest game changer that I've ever seen. It's completely free and I've been using it like an unpaid intern to create scripts for After Effects, perform complex actions that otherwise I would not know how to achieve. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use ChatGPT to write your own scripts that perform complex actions without needing to know how to write a single line of code yourself or need to buy expensive plugins. And be sure to stick around to the end and I'll show you how you can download all the scripts that I made for free. All right, so first let's take a step back a second. What is an After Effects script? Why don't we ask our new friend, the chatbot? An After Effects script is a program written in a programming language that automates tasks and adds functionality to the software. So if we have a task that we need repeated many times that would otherwise be really annoying or complicated to do by hand, this is a good use case for a script. For example, aligning a lot of layers to a grid by hand could be really annoying or very difficult to do. This seems like a good idea for a script. So let's see if we can make it using the AI. So I'm going to ask our new AI friend if we can write a script that aligns selected layers into a perfect grid. Now, for some reason, he's giving me attitude and says that he can't write the script, but then he just goes on to do it. And whatever, man, I don't really need to hear your excuses. Let's just get it done. So we got the script. So the easiest way to run this script is to paste it into a code editor like Visual Studio Code and then save it as a .jsx file. Now I can go into File, Scripts, Run Script File, and just locate my .jsx file. Now, I got what I asked for, but the AI is like your little brother doing chores. It's only gonna do the bare minimum of what you ask it to do. I wanna be able to edit this, so let's go back and ask it to generate a null object with controls for spacing and it generates a null with sliders on it, but they don't really seem to work. Here's something Code King Adam Pluff from Battleaxe showed me. If you're going to be testing out a lot of scripts, you can grab a plugin like KBar and set a shortcut to your .jsx file. This will cut out a lot of time in the process. And who knows, if you get really good at script writing after watching this video, maybe you can make your own version of KBar. Anyway, back to the lesson. And it generates a null with sliders on it, but they don't really seem to work. So what does Mr. Robot think about this? Cool, we got an update, but when I run the new script in After Effects, I get an error. Total amateur hour on the AI part. Let's tell it about the error and see what it thinks. And it looks like the bug is squashed, but a new one has appeared. Is this what being a developer is like? Not my problem. Fix it, please, GPT. And it did. Thank you very much. And now I just want to be able to edit the original position of the layers. So we're going to make another request. Don't forget to show a little appreciation to the grunts. And boom, we have a grid script that works. Pretty sweet and not something I would be able to make myself. So at this point, I'm pretty impressed, but it does not stop here. Using the same type of logic and conversation with the AI, I was able to pump out a ton of other script variations. How about a circle grid script? Boom. How about a sine wave script? Boom. All right, so this is outright mind blowing to me, doing all of this without knowing one single line of code. But if you still aren't impressed, we can even make some UI for our script. By simply asking the AI to add in button pop-ups to the script, we can add in a bake layers button, which removes the expressions off of all my layers, but keeps them in their position. This is looking like a real dang script. All right, so another script I was trying to make was this proximity-based script. The concept is that this null object has a force field around it, and it pushes other layers away when they get within a certain proximity. Now, for some reason, the AI simply could not figure out this concept. It kept pushing out errors over and over again. It really struggled with the position proximity idea. 
My tip to you is that if your starting prompt has multiple errors in a row, and I mean errors like red errors, not like it kind of works, but it's not quite there. I mean, it feels like you're hitting a brick wall, then you should just totally scrap it and start a fresh prompt with a brand new approach and try things from a new angle. So that's what I did. Instead of asking for proximity based on position, I approached it from proximity to the scale. And it works, kind of. It's generated a null object, and that null object controls the scale of my selected layers. I need to be more specific about what I want. Just like my wife, the AI is not a mind reader. So now the null object is affecting the layer's positions, but not in the correct way. So from here, I'm able to start tweaking it a little bit closer to the effect that I want. Once I get the proximity feature working, I can move the goalposts a little bit and then try changing it from scale to position by turning this into a don't touch me feature. And it works. So just like my previous scripts, I'll go back and ask the AI to attach sliders to the script that allow me to control any properties on it that I want. And here's what we end up with. But what about expressions, the code that you put on properties inside of After Effects? Of course, we can use ChatGPT to write us expressions, but in my testing, the results are not great. I was able to get some simple expressions such as this swinging pendulum, but even really basic things like a number counter, the AI completely hallucinated nonsense gibberish. I asked Adam why he thinks it does better with scripts over expressions, and he said he thinks it's the documentation the AI is able to train on. I also asked Adam if he thinks this tool is going to be helpful for beginners or if it's more of a crutch. And he said he thinks that failure is the key to growth with code. The process of moving two steps forward and one step back is crucial and curiosity becomes much more valuable long term than following tutorial step by step. And then he suggested that he might be a robot. And I completely agree with Adam. I'm excited by the opportunity that tools like this open up for people like me who are intimidated by coding. Integrate it into your own natural curiosity and take the time to learn how these things are working and use it to enhance your work. So in summary, I've made four different scripts. Now for the most important part, I need to go back and give them cool names. We have Gridlord, Ringo, Waver, and Proximo. There's a link in the description to download all of these scripts for free. And if you're an idiot, you can even go pay for them. And let me know in the comments, would you pay for scripts like these if you didn't know that they were AI generated, or maybe even if you do know that they're AI generated? Download these scripts, test them out, let me know what you think. If you're really crazy, you can open up the text file, send it back to the AI in your own prompt, and ask it to edit it for you and add in new features and build off the script. So what do you think about all of this? Are you gonna try making your own scripts? Do you think that we're gonna see a new wave of AI generated scripts pop up for free or on sites like AE scripts? What do you think about all of this? Do you think it's a big game changer like I do? I would love to know your thoughts. Let me know in the comments. And if you hate AI and you want to learn how to code expressions by hand in After Effects, well, I got just the video for you. So click right here to watch that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.